Men, imagine you are getting ready to take the woman of your dreams out on your first date. You have dinner reservations for 7 o'clock, and you plan to pick this girl up. Leave to pick this girl up at 6.15. It is now 6 o'clock, and you are dressed exactly as I am. You are just about ready to go until you realize that you have no idea how to tie a tie. You begin frantically searching the web for how-to videos, and no matter how much you think you're following the directions, you keep ending up with a wadded mess. You are not alone. In 2013, the most searched how-to advice on Google was how to tie a tie. Worry no longer. I, Parker Eller, will be showing you how to tie the perfect Windsor knot. Ladies, don't tune out. You may end up with a guy who shows up to pick you up on this first date, hoping that you can tie the tie for him. If you are able to do this, not only will he be impressed, but you will have one up on him for a long, long time. Tying the Windsor knot is something that everyone should be able to do. If you are able to understand the four maneuvers in the tying process, how to use these maneuvers to complete the steps in the proper order, and how to preserve the tie or preserve the knot for future use, you'll be ready to dress to impress for every occasion. To start, I would like to show you the four maneuvers in the tying process. But before we do this, we need to do a few things. First, you will need to pop your collar. Then, you will need to make sure the fat end of the tie is on the right side of your body and hanging quite a bit lower than the skinny end. The exact length will depend on the tie and the person, but I like to hold the skinny end in line with my sternum. Then you need to take the fat end of the tie and cross it over the skinny end. Hold the center of the X with your right hand, and this X position is where we will work from for the remainder of the process. Now that we are here, I can describe the four maneuvers throughout the tying process. You can either go under and out of the hole, over and into the hole, behind the hole, or across the hole. Now that you understand the four possible maneuvers, we can begin the fun. The first step after getting to the X position is taking the fat end of the tie and coming under and out of the hole. When you get partway through the hole, you can use your right hand to push the tie against your body so you can pull the rest of the tie all the way through. When the tie is through, let it hang, and the front of the tie should be showing, the side without the seam. When you are here, pull the fat end of the tie towards your left shoulder and then behind the hole. After you get behind the hole, rest the tie on your right shoulder and here, the back of this tie, the side with the seam, should be showing. Now you will be going over and into the hole. After you get through the hole, the back of the tie should once again be showing. At this point, you need to make sure that the premature knot is not too tight and not too loose. Now you will hold with your right hand one finger over this premature knot. You will understand why in just a second. With the fat end of the tie, once again, pull it towards your left shoulder, but this time we are going to go across the, the hole and across our finger. Rest the tie on your right shoulder and the front of the tie should now be showing. Once we are here, we will once again go under and out of the hole. After you get through the hole, you will notice that there is a gap where you held your finger over the premature knot. This gap is where you will tuck the tie through. After you tuck the tie through and the knot is tight, pinch the bottom of the tie to form the correct shape. Now you can hold the knot with your left hand and the skinny end of the tie with your right hand. Pull down on the skinny end until the tie is tight against your neck. Now you will tuck the skinny end of the tie into this slot in the back of the tie. Some people like to tuck this skinny end into their shirt, but don't do this, you will look foolish. Tuck the tie where it's supposed to go into this slot. Once you do this, you, will, you are now ready to fix your collar. Just make sure that the, none of the tie is showing in the back and you are ready to go. Now that you understand how to tie the winds or not, I would like to share a tip with you. This tip will make it so you don't have to retie the tie every time you go out. You can grab the tie just to the left of the knot and with your right hand, pull the knot down. This will loosen the tie. Just make sure that when you do this, you leave a few inches on the skinny end of the tie below the knot. If you pull the skinny end all the way through, this step will be ruined. After this, the tie should be loose enough for you to pull it over your head and put the tie away. The next time you need a tie, just slip the tie over your head, pull it tight, fix your collar, and you should be ready to go. This tip is 
Also handy if someone ever asks you to tie a tie for them. Just tie the tie on yourself, loosen it, slip it off, and hand it to them. In conclusion, tying the Windsor knot is something that everyone, male or female, should understand how to do. For men, you will need to wear a tie to any formal event, whether it be a wedding, funeral, nice date, or job interview. For women, be prepared to tie the Windsor knot just in case you are with a hopeless man who can't do it himself. Tying the Windsor knot may seem like a complicated process at first, but with practice, it will be just like tying your shoe. In no time, you will be able to complete the Windsor knot in just in under 30 seconds. Now that you understand the four possible maneuvers of the tying process, how to use these maneuvers to complete the steps in the proper order, and how to preserve the knot for future use, you should be ready to go. Gentlemen, it is now up to you. For the sake of keeping your man card, are you going to learn how to tie a darn tie? I think so.